today we are gonna be making a very special vegan Thanksgiving main course. We are gonna be making stuffed acorn squash with a beautiful wild rice and lentil stuffing with all your favorite fall flavors. Today I've got both acorn and this colorful carnival squash, but they're around the same size, so they'll cook around the same time. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Linda and this is Vegan Petite. Now let's get started. The first step, you're gonna want to prepare your wild rice. So I did one cup of this dry wild rice mixture and I prepared it with two cups of water and half a teaspoon of salt in the rice cooker. And this is already done, so once it's done cooking, you can just fluff it up with a fork to have a really nice texture. You can also cook this on the stovetop if you prefer. And you can do this uh, a day or two ahead of time if you're preparing for a big meal. Next, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, prepare your acorn squash by slicing off the very end, and that will help to stabilize it. And now you're gonna cut it right down the middle using a very sharp knife. Next, scoop out all the seeds with a spoon. Next, brush the insides of your squash with olive oil. And season with salt and pepper. Place your squash face down on a non-stick baking tray, or you can use a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper or a silicone mat. Put them in the oven to roast for 20 minutes. While the squash is roasting in the oven, we're gonna get started on the stuffing mixture. I've got a pan over medium heat. I'm just gonna add a small drizzle of olive oil. Add in half of a chopped yellow onion, two stalks of celery chopped up, and eight ounces of mushrooms, roughly chopped. Cook those down for a few minutes until the onions are translucent and the onions start to get some caramelization. You can see that our veggies are starting to get some nice color on them. We will add a little splash of water to deglaze the brown bits at the bottom of the pan. That's where all the flavor is. Mm -hmm. Smells good already. Now we're gonna season this with a little bit of salt, and that's gonna help draw out some of the extra moisture from the mushrooms. Let's add some black pepper. I'm also gonna go in with a half teaspoon each of Herbe de Provence. You can also use Italian seasoning or any kind of dry herbs of choice. And a half teaspoon of dry sage. I definitely recommend including sage in here. That's gonna give it that beautiful Thanksgiving smell. Add in a tablespoon of maple syrup for a little bit of false sweetness. Next, we are going to make a well in the middle of our veggies, and we're gonna prepare a roux to thicken up our sauce. It's gonna be like a gravy. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of all-purpose flour, so that's equal parts. And you wanna go ahead and start whisking the oil and flour together. We wanna cook out the raw flour, so it's gonna take a minute or two. Now I have two thirds of a cup of vegetable broth here. I'm just gonna add it very slowly, little splashes at a time, and whisk that with our flour mixture to make sure it stays smooth each step of the way through. A Little bit more. Our squash have been in the oven for 20 minutes now. I checked them out real quick and they do have some nice color on them, but I feel like they need another five minutes or so to get fully tender. 
you can see our gravy is thickening, thickening up very nicely. We're gonna flavor it with a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using reduced sodium and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And give that a good little whisk. You can turn the heat down to low at this stage too. And look at that beautiful, rich brown color. Now I'm going to add a can of rinsed black lentils. You can also use brown or green lentils and you can use home cooked too. The can is just more convenient. At this point, you can turn off the heat, add in your cooked wild rice. Now for some nice additions for contrast, we're gonna add a quarter cup of dried cranberries, as well as a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds and a quarter cup of roughly chopped walnuts. I'm also gonna add half a cup of chopped fresh parsley. Give that a good stir. Oh, this stuffing mixture smells so delicious. You wanna taste it and adjust the seasonings. <laughs> that is perfect to me. Mm, wow, okay. Let's get this stuffing into our squashes because we are almost done. Now let's flip over our squash, cut side up. Ooh, look at that nice golden color we got around the edges. Ah. Ooh, that's the acorn squash right there. Mm-hmm, yum. All right, now just stuff them generously with our gorgeous lentil wild rice stuffing. You'll probably have some leftover stuffing, but that's totally fine. You can serve that on the side. Now we're just gonna put these stuffed squash back into the oven for 15 minutes. Ooh, these look so beautiful with that golden color. Once you take them out of the oven though, let them sit on the pan for five to 10 minutes before serving because these are piping hot. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try these. Look how beautiful these turned out. I mean, talk about a show-stopping presentation for a Thanksgiving main. If you're hosting a fully vegan Thanksgiving, these will be perfect. Or if you're visiting family or friends where they're having other non-vegan foods, this will make them jealous. Okay, let's try the acorn squash first. You wanna get a little chunk of the flesh along with that stuffing, the wild rice stuffing. Mm. Look at that bite right there. Smells delicious. Oh, hot. Mmm. 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 Yeah. The acorn squash is beautifully cooked. It's nice and tender. It's got a mild sweetness to it and it pairs beautifully with the stuffing. And since it's starchy, it kind of takes the place of mashed potato. Mm. Now I'm gonna try a bite of the carnival squash and just look at how festive that is. I mean, I've never seen this at a Thanksgiving table before. Get some of that cranberry in there. Mm-hmm, mm. I almost think that the carnival squash flesh has a milder, milder flavor. Pretty similar to the acorn though. 
whatever kind of winter squash you can find at your local store this time of year, as long as you can stuff it, it'll be perfect for these. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this Thanksgiving recipe. I'm very grateful for all of your support. And comment below, is this your first time making a vegan Thanksgiving dish? Or if not, how long have you been vegan for? I'm curious to know. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos because next week, I'm gonna be bringing you a very special vegan Thanksgiving dessert. So you won't wanna miss that. I'll see you next week, bye.